Alright, this is my video response for Gary Orner's uh, ear contest. Um, first, when did I, you know, fall in love with the hobby? Um, I have loved reptiles actually forever, um, since I can remember. Um, when I was little, we lived near a river, and we would go on a pontoon boat, and this is in Florida, and there were tons of gators, tons of gators and turtles, and, um, I was absolutely in love with them. Um, my parents very quickly learned that they had something to be concerned about with me, because I wanted to jump in. I was amazed by these alligators, had no fear of them whatsoever, just huge admiration for them. And so when we went on their pon on the pontoon boat, um, they ha someone always had to be watching me. Mo most of the time someone had to be holding me, um, or really close, like arms reach, so they could pull me back because I wanted to jump in and catch the turtles and swim with the alligators. And that was when I was like four. And, um... <clears throat> and then, you know, six, seven, eight, I would go to birthday parties and I would be digging through bushes trying to find snakes and lizards to catch. I just loved it. And it wasn't just reptiles primarily. I loved all animals, but showed a particular interest in them. Um, so I got my first snake when I was 12. Absolutely in love with them. Everyone knew I was nuts about them. Um, and I took care of the snake, and then about a year and a half later, I kind of strayed because I hit middle school, and I wanted to fit in, I wanted to be cool, and, you know, girls didn't like to hang out with girls who thought snakes were cool, not terrifying monsters. Um, but that whole time, I was trying to find something that fit for me, something that worked. Um, I kept horses for a little bit. Uh, we ended up selling them after about a year and a half or so because just wasn't for me. I love horses, I still do, but <coughs> it never quite fit for me. I was always kind of nervous. You know, they're these big powerful animals and people who ride them and are near them know and understand the respect that they command because of their sheer size. So I was always nervous and I didn't want to like, it was like not healthy nervous. And I tried fish, which I liked, but it wasn't enough, you know. I needed to have some sort of contact with the animals, and you can't really do that with fish. Um, it's always strained, you know, I was miserable and so unhappy. And then, you know, my dad took me to Gatorland. And that spark just re reignited, and I was just loving it, and I felt complete, and I was like, I knew what I wanted to do, reptiles was what I wanted to do, and, um, from that day I've just been in love with them and have kept them, and... This is Romeo, right here. He was my first Colombian ever. Uh, not my first snake, but my first Colombian. Um, and um, I just had a real passion for him. And what I love the most about it, um, I just love reptiles. Um, my favorite part is, like, watching them and holding them and handling them and interacting with them. Probably interacting is my favorite thing about it because there's, like, this really strange mix of emotions and experiences that I experience when I'm with a reptile. Like, you look at these huge, majestic, like, solid animals, like, monitors and tegus and even bearded dragon stuff, and you look at them, and, you know, they're eating or something, and you've got this exotic feel, like, you know, you're out in the bush, you know, out in the wild. At the same time, they're so familiar for me, and there's something so comforting about being around them. I love to just take my snakes out, just lay them on the floor and let them slither around and watch them, and 
see them move and watch their muscles work and their tongues flicker and there's something so cool about them. And I love to handle them and just feel them because they have this, you know, unique, you know, fingernailish feel to them. It's just, it's probably my favorite thing. It's just to sit there. I love to just sit on the floor and let them, you know, go over my legs and under my arms and under my side and, you know, explore and then, you know, pop up right in your face. Um, I just really love that. And, you know, someone asked me, you know, why I love snakes and why I love reptiles. And um, I told them because when I have a snake or a lizard or some form of reptilian creature in my hands, when I'm handling them, I'm, like, happy. The happiest I ever am. I feel complete. I feel like nothing's missing. Like, this is what I'm supposed to do. This is what I was made for. Snakes and reptiles, they're not a hobby for me. They're part of me. They're a huge passion of mine. But there's like a spot in my heart that is reserved just for reptiles and their keeping and their protection. And it's part of me. Without it, I've experienced what it's like to be without it. And it's empty and I feel incomplete. It's what I was made for. And, um, they will always be a passion of mine. They will always be a passion of mine. So, there's your video response. I hope it's good. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Romeo, you wish to say hi to the camera? Say hello. Oh. Romeo, Romeo. Say hi to the camera. All right.